of. Of love, of reconciliation, a ministry that we want union to be done in our church. And I thank God because in union, you can do a whole lot with a few folk and with a lot of folk, bringing division and strife and envy because God cannot work in the midst of confusion. Thank God for your church. Thank God for your members. Thank God for your leaders. Thank God for those who come to glorify God. Thank God for those who come to lift up the name of the Lord. Thank God for those who have an honor and desire to lay aside a contention, lay aside hatred, lay aside under misunderstanding. Lay aside side hurt feeling. Lay aside where I feel about it. Lay aside this and that. And when we all come together in the unity of the spirit, then God can pour out his anointing. When we all come together, one mind, one common goal, one purpose, praying together, holding hands together. Let's go back to the model in the civil rights movement. They all got together, locked arm in arm, and said, we shall overcome. We shall overcome someday. Deep down in my heart, I do believe we shall overcome. Can I take that same model and put it in the GIFT church? We shall overcome. Deep in my heart, I do believe we shall overcome if we get together one mind, one heart. Let's save one person at a time. Let's save one family at a time. Let's save one soul at a time. Let's get together and one mind. And when we all come together, the power of God, the anointing of God will fall on the church. In Acts chapter 2, the Bible said they all met together to try to get on the Holy Ghost and wait for the Holy Ghost. They waited 10 days. It took them 10 days to get on one accord. It took them 10 days to start fussing and fighting. It took them 10 days to get God in their life. They got all that earned out. But the Bible said when the day of Pentecost, the 50th day, had fully come, they were all together in one place the first thing you got to do to get a water card you got to come in the place you got to come to church. You got to get with the body. You got to find yourself in the prayer meetings. You got to find yourself in the Bible studies. You got to find yourself in the same place. In the place together with one accord. They all came together. If we said let's, I said go. If we said praise, I said the Lord. We all came together. And the Bible said, the Bible said they came together. Here's what happened. When they were together in one place without warning, without warning, there was a sound, there was a sound of a rushing mighty wind. Suddenly, suddenly, when they get together, it'll move heaven. Suddenly, when we pray together, God begin to pour his power. Suddenly, Without warning, they came together. They heard. I said they heard. You got to understand. When we get together, we can hear something. When we get together, God will talk to us. When we get together, God gives revelation and knowledge. They heard. What they heard? A sound. Sound of a rushing mighty wind. When we know the power of God, when we know life, when the breath of God, somebody say amen. I want to hear the breath of God. They heard the sound of a rushing mighty wind. Nobody knew where it was coming. Nobody knew where it came from. Good God Almighty, GIFT.